Hello and welcome to another update video about Phantom. Phantom very good performance today, not unexpected given that it hit our target area again um, and uh, reversed, you know, which is sort of what you would expect um, with these trend reversal areas. Again, also one of the coins which I communicated or where I communicated already on Tuesday that we are going to get into the area between 39.6 and 34.3 cents. That worked out. Yeah, the top was in place quite clearly. We did come down into the support area and it reversed. And that's it. <laughs> Analysis finished. No, joking. So um, this could, of course, be the third wave now. We don't know that yet. Um, as I'm exploring the idea for some coins that the move to the upside here that's currently occurring is only a B wave. The thing is here with Phantom, if I zoom out a bit, you can see it hit the golden ratio on the way down uh, at 37.4 cents and is now developing a lot of momentum. It could be, and this is technically still possible, an ABC structure, A wave down, B wave overshooting and C wave down eventually so that the wave two actually needs to move. Now that's possible. Is it likely? Hmm. It is still, I've got my problem with that structure. Um, I'm only saying it's, it's possible because I explore that structure for many other coins and for Bitcoin as well. Um, for me personally, it doesn't, it doesn't matter so much. Is it an ABC or are we already in the third wave? Because the trade setup worked out and anybody who took a trade here can now either take profits um, or start to scale out or just let it run and move up the stop loss. It, you know, um, they, I often get the question, you know, it, do you think it's this? Do you think it's that? I can think a lot of stuff. It doesn't help with your trading though. Um, what will help with your trading is the identification and production of these high reward, low risk setups. And we had so many that worked out this week. Um, just amazing, you know, and best to wait for the high probability setups, you know, not try to push, you know, unlikely setups out every day. Makes sense to really get them the ones that hit. And we had so many that worked for these altcoins. This one as well. I mean, it hit the, the, the area, even if you just had one limit order filled here. And even if it was only at the top, the price has now moved over 20% in a few days. I mean, it's a tremendous performance. Now, an overshooting B wave can occur when the A wave or the move down had three waves. It did have three waves. And it is possible that it's an overshooting B wave until we break about 52.6 cents. Yeah, please be aware of that. So I cannot rule out that it will still push a little higher and then come down. In fact, I, I think it's quite likely because, I mean, the wave two hit target, but um, it was time wise, it was a very short wave too. But you know, it's it's all it's all it, it all worked. You know, it's not it wouldn't invalidate a wave two just because it's very short, also in its in its duration from a time point of view. Um it hit the target area and reversed. That that's the main thing. Now you just need to know for your risk management that we are in a B wave resistance area. We've actually just retraced basically to the previous high. So that's resistance for a B wave. And then we've got the 1.38 retracement at 52.6 cents. And if this one works out, which means if the 34 cent level holds, then it can still push higher and will eventually reach 80 cents, 90 cents, $1, and maybe even higher. So don't be surprised if it comes back into the region. There's no way of saying it will or it won't at the moment. Um, just focus on the setups, focus on the trend reversal areas, focus on the pivots. In my opinion, that's the way to go in crypto, to trade the pivots, not to trade the count, because there are always different counts. Um, these produce the pivots, these trading areas or turnaround spaces, turning points, and these can be traded. Yeah, And then you don't need to waste too much brain power on, oh, okay, is it an ABC or is it a WXY? Or do we get one more low or not? Do you think it will go down? You know, because nobody knows the future. But what we can control as traders is our entries and exits and to look for reward to risk. And that's exactly what we did here and it worked out nicely. Okay, that's my update about Phantom. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.